Maka's guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Mac here, the continuation of our Resident Evil 4 Remake Collectibles Guide, starting off with Chapter 8 now, and near the beginning of the chapter you'll enter this large room, there will be a ton of enemies. You're not really meant to take them out one by one, you're meant to go into the room, use the explosives, you can use the chandelier, and eventually once you clear them all out, the main enemy will drop you a Crimson Lantern which you can use to move on. But additionally in this room, before you take that lantern and leave, you can find a treasure near the back of the room on the middle floor with a mirror with pearls and rubies. You'll then continue and end up inside of a room called the Bindery. And in here you'll have a door that you'll need to solve a puzzle. But inside the room there's a very obvious chest. You can grab that chest and inside find the extravagant clock. I believe you can encrust it with gems and sell it for a decent amount of money. Now in this room there's also a locked drawer, so we'll need a small key. Luckily that small key is pretty close uh, by. We can grab it and then just return to the room. So we're gonna grab the three stones. The fourth stone is already in the puzzle, and then you can solve that puzzle and move on. Basically you're aligning the red and then the Blue is kind of washed out, but you figure it out kind of through trial and error. And then through that door, you can just walk through the hallway. Keep an eye out to your left. There will be a desk. And on that desk, there will be a small key. So we're going to grab that small key as we do need it in order to open up a drawer. With that small key now acquired, go back to the room we were just in, the bindery. And inside of that room, there is a drawer. You can use the key on that drawer. Probably mentioned it a couple times now, but inside you'll find a brass pocket watch. A little bit later on, we're now like inside of the castle walls and navigating through the level. Don't be confused as to where exactly I am. It can be a little bit confusing, but you have to come here and you have to interact with this machine right here that I'm interacting with. And if you switch it from a sun to a moon, this should open up a door that we previously didn't have access to. And if you now follow this door and climb up a ledge, You'll be able to climb up a second ledge and then drop down into the floor. Dropping down into the floor, there might be an enemy here if you didn't shoot them already, but you might have gotten them through the metal gates. And if you hook around to the right, you'll be able to find a treasure chest with the ornate necklace inside. You'll then end up outside and there's a little bit of a so-called boss battle. You don't actually shoot at this boss, you just try to stay alive and navigate to the right areas. What you're trying to do is time the runs so that you are uh, not getting hit by the boulders they're throwing. Easier said than done in this footage. But from where this kind of boss fight begins, you want to drop down and to the right and head back to where you came from. Using the ladder allows you to get access to the kind of rooftop here which we weren't able to get on top of before and there are two collectibles while you're here. If you navigate around the circular edge all the way to the backside, you'll find the Castellan sitting on top of some uh, rice bags, cement, I don't know what that is. Um, and then if you go into the kind of center of this area, you can also find a treasure chest with an emerald inside before you loot everything. And last but not least, for this chapter, we can find a ruby. So you're going to be navigating to the left from where the boss battle began. And you'll have to come here. This is another area you have to go to. There will be an enemy that attacks you after you drop down. And then you'll have to go on the second story across this ledge, watching out for the boulder that the uh, boss is kind of throwing at you. You'll go through like the moon door. You'll be able to interact with the lever and then turn it into a sun. This will allow you to drop onto the bottom story. And once you drop down, turn around, and now you'll be able to go into this kind of side room. And if you shoot the container on the ceiling, it'll drop down, revealing the ruby. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, share the video with a friend. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Peace.